uh, she is almost going to be 51 uh, and she's a mother of four and after many years she's decided to uh, do a tummy tuck and uh, you know, do some uh, tuning up of her body and uh, there's a couple of things that bothered her one is her belly area tends to bother her and uh, she's also has some extra adiposity uh, fat collection in her side and uh, right over here as you can see uh, can you turn slowly for me and then uh, she feels like she's got a lot of fat in this area but no fat in her buttocks area she doesn't want to have any uh, large uh, 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 buttocks uh, booty area but what she wants is uh, just a little bit of projection so when she wears her dress she feels much better about it um, in this operation that uh, I love and adore uh, we t uh, essentially liposuction this area and take all that fat and replace it in the buttocks area strategically uh, in a safe manner and then we do a quick flip and we perform a tummy tuck. Now, what is a tummy tuck? A lot of people, uh, uh, they're confused about a tummy tuck. Tummy tuck is, uh, does three main things. One of the things that it does, it lifts this mons area, this vaginal uh, area that tends to uh, having ptosis after childbirth. So by lifting this, it brings everything up very nicely. The second thing it does, we do an internal corset that brings the muscle back together because during the pregnancy the muscle opens up like this so you have a huge gap in the middle that is not protected so uh, you can't uh, bring your stomach in in a regular tone and structure and the last thing it does it gets rid of all this extra skin if you bend slightly forward you can see how much extra skin you have and the test that I always tell my patients uh, to do to figure out if they need a tummy tuck or not is to put their finger inside their belly button. If these two fingers touch, you probably need a tummy tuck. And um, uh, that's essentially the main component of a tummy tuck. And then the liposuction is really an uh, uh, additional feature of uh, this surgery, the uh, Lipo 360 BBL. Uh, tummy tuck that allows you to have this uh, 360 contouring and change that is so powerful and really restores a woman's body after childbirth. Thank you for joining. Oh, oh, Hello, this is Dr. Moen. Today we're doing a three-phase operation. This is one of my uh, most favorite operations because in one operation, you can restore a woman's body after childbirth. The first phase of this operation is liposuction in the back area, especially this area. You can see how much extra adiposity accumulates in this area unnaturally. Then taking this fat and putting it strategically in the buttocks in the green zone and giving a little bit of hips to this lovely lady, and then once we uh, are completed with the back segment of the operation, we do a flip and we do a full tummy tuck. And by doing a full tummy tuck, what we do is we improve, we bring the skin in and we remove the extra skin from the front and tighten the abdominal wall, restoring the anterior side of the woman's body, creating a beautiful contour. Thank you for joining us. So I'm gonna go over the components of the safe and effective BBL operation. The first part is safety in our eyes, making sure that when we inject the fat, we look with an ultrasound device at where the fat is placed. We're making sure that the plane is accurate and we're not injecting in the wrong place. So we use an ultrasound to define the anatomy and see where our cannula is and making sure that the type of cannula that we use is large enough that it doesn't penetrate any of the major veins and causing uh, the fat to go into the system, venous system, and causing problems such as fat embolism. The next component is making sure that we use a closed system. It's called the Will Johnson closed system. So there is no exposure to external air and contamination of the fat when we're injecting that uh, clean fat back into the patient. The third part is we add antibiotics to make sure that fat is uh, sterile enough to be re-injected and nothing grows in it. The fourth part is we're diligent. This is a very important part of the operation. We don't put five different operations in one day. We make sure that we do only one to two operations, PPLs a day, uh, that you know, we take our time and we do diligent work and accurate work to ensure that our patients are not exposed to extra risk. All right, so we have finished the second phase of the operation, which is 
fat grafting part of the operation. The first phase was liposuctioning and creating nice contour, removing the fat from upper, middle, lower uh, part of the back. And now we have done fat grafting. We did the fat grafting using ultrasound guided uh, uh, fat grafting system, closed system. That is one of the safest way to place the fat appropriately in, in strategic places in the buttocks to create nice, beautiful curve and harmonious body. Last phase of the operation, the third phase, which is a tummy tuck portion of the operation. The tummy tuck portion of the operation is a very important part of restoring a woman's body into its natural, uh, harmonious, uh, harmonious manner. And what we do in this part of the operation is we remove all this extra skin, and you can see how much extra skin there is. We remove the fat in these areas uh, with liposuction, and then we placate the abdominal wall because the abdominal wall gets separated as a result of the uh, as a result of uh, childbearing. And then we close everything in one nice clean incision in the lower segment of the abdominal wall where it's hidden with your bikini. Just completed liposuction 360 bbl and tummy tuck on this lovely lady and now you can see the beautiful results you can see the beautiful abdomen is contoured the belly button is an any it's got nice delineated lines the incision is low and you can see how low it is and she just looks fantastic I think I'm